Hi, thanks for joining us for Polish Storytime today. My name is Risa. Cześć, I am Janina. We are going to read some stories in Polish and English and learn some facts about Poland. So, are you all ready at home? All right, here we go. We're going to start off with our hello song today and Janina is going to teach us how to say hello in Polish. So, Cześć is hello in Polish. Can you try that? Cześć. Cześć. Oh, nice job, everyone. Are you ready for the hello song? Okay, let's stretch our arms and we're going to start the hello song. Ready? We wave Cześć like this. We wave Cześć like that. We wave chest to all our friends. We wave chest like that. Should we try it one more time, everyone? All right. And what's the word for hello, Janina? Chest. All right. Are we ready? Here we go. We wave chest like this. We wave chest like that. We wave chest to all our friends. We wave chest like that. today and she's going to read the title in Polish and then I'll read the title in English. Okay. Mała czerwona kurka i żarnka zboża. The Little Red Hen and the Grains of Wheat by L. R. Hen Jago. Pewnego dnia mała czerwona kurka spacerowała sobie po podwórku, gdy znalazła kilka żarnek zboża. Mogę zaszać to zboże, pomyślała sobie, ale będę potrzebowała pomocy. One day little red hen was walking across the farmyard when she found some grains of wheat. I can plant this wheat, she thought, but I'm going to need some help. Mała czerwona kurka zawołała do zwierząt na fermę. Czy ktoś mi pomoże zaszać to zboże? Ja nie powiedział kot. Jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie powiedział pies. Jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie powiedziała gęś. Jestem bardzo zajęta. Little Red Hen called out to the other animals on the farm. Will anyone help me plant this wheat? Not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Not I, said the dog. I'm too busy. Not I, said the goose. I'm too busy. W takim razie sama to zrobię, powiedziała mała czerwona kurka. Wzięła żanka z boża i zasiała jej sama. Then I shall do it all by myself, said the little red hen. She took the grains of wheat should we take the grains of wheat together and planted them? All right, everyone, we're going to plant the grains of wheat. Oh, nice work, everyone. Raz padał deszcz, raz spięciło słonko. Zboże rosło wysokie i złote. Pewnego dnia mała czerwona kurka zobaczyła, że zboże było dojrzałe. Teraz było gotowe do zebrania. The clouds rained. Oh, look at the rain, everyone. And then the sun shone. The wheat grew strong, tall, and golden. Wow. One day, little red hen saw that the wheat was ripe. Now it was ready to cut. Mała czerwona kurka. Zawołała do zwierząt. 
Czy ktoś mi pomoże zebrać zboże? Ja nie, powiedział kot. Jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie, powiedział pies. Jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie, powiedziała gęś. Jestem bardzo zajęta. Little Red Hen called out to the other animals. Will anyone help me cut the wheat? Not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Not I, said the dog. I'm too busy. Not I, said the goose. I'm too busy. W takim razie będę musiała to zrobić sama, powiedziała mała czerwona kurka. Żęła sierp i ścięła całe zboże. Następnej związała jej wiązki. Then I shall do it all by myself, said Little Red Hen. She took a sickle and cut down the wheat. Ready, guys? We're going to cut down the wheat. Oh, nice, everyone. Then she tied it into a bundle. Okay, let's tie that wheat into a bundle. Are we ready? Oh, a lot of wheat here. Oh, perfect, everyone. Teraz zboże było gotowe do mucenia. Mała czerwona kurka przyniosła wiązki zboża z powrotem na podwórku. Now the wheat was ready to thresh. Little red hen carried the bundle of wheat. Ready guys, let's carry that big bundle of wheat. Oh, back to the farmyard. Mała czerwona kurka zawołała do zwierząt. Czy ktoś mi pomoże wymuczyć zboże? Ja nie powiedział kot. Jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie powiedział pies. Jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie powiedziała gęż. Jestem bardzo zajęta. Little red hen called out to the other animals. Will anyone help me thresh the wheat? Oh, not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Not I, said the dog. I'm too busy. Not I, said the goose. Should we say it together? I'm too busy. W takim razie zrobię to sama, powiedziała mała czerwona kurka. Then I shall do it all by myself, said the little red hen. Uczyła zboże przez cały dzień. Gdy skończyła, włożyła jej na wóz. She threshed the wheat all day long. Oh, she's working so hard, everyone. Oh, let's help her. Oh. When she had finished, she put it into her cart. Oh, nice work, everyone. Teraz zboże było gotowe do znielenia na mąkę. Ale mała czerwona kurka była bardzo zmęczona, więc poszła do studoły, gdy wkrótce usnęła. Now the wheat was ready to grind into flour, but little red hen was very tired. So she went to the barn where she soon fell. Mała czerwona kurka zawołała do zwierząt. Czy ktoś mi pomoże zaniesić zboże do młyna? Ja nie powiedział kot. Jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie powiedział pies. Jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie powiedziała gęś. Jestem bardzo zajęta. The next morning, Little Red Hen called out to the other animals, Will anyone help me take the wheat to the mill? Should we say it at home together? Not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Not I, said the dog. I'm too busy. Not I, said the goose. I'm too busy. W 
takim razie pójdę sama, powiedziała mała czerwona kurka. Oczeknęła wóz pełnym zboża i wpychała go całej drogę do młyna. Then I shall go all by myself, said the little red hen. She pulled her cart full of wheat. Oh, ready guys, we're going to help her. Oh, we're going to pull the cart and wield it all the way to the mill. Mym na szczęść zboże i zmielił jej na mąkę. Teraz było to gotowe do pieczenia chleba. The miller took the wheat and ground it into flour. Now it was ready to make a loaf of bread. Mała czerwona kurka zawołała do zwierząt. Czy ktoś mi pomoże zanieść mąkę do piekarza? Ja nie powiedział kot, jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie powiedział pies, jestem bardzo zajęty. Ja nie powiedziała gęż, jestem bardzo zajęta. Little red hen called out to the other animals, will anyone help me take this flower to the baker? <gasps> Not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Not I, said the dog. I'm too busy. Not I, said the goose. I'm too busy. W takim razie pójdę sama, powiedziała mała czerwona kurka i zaniosła same ciężki worek mąki do piekarza. Then I shall go all by myself, said little red hen. She took the heavy sack of flour all the way to the bakery. <gasps> oh, this is heavy. Woo, we did it. Okay. Piekarz żon mąkę i dołożył drożdże, wodę, cukier i sól. Żon zrobiony ciasto i wsadził jej do pieca. Gdy chleb był gotowy, dał go małej czerwonej kurce. The baker took the flour and added some yeast. Ready? We're going to add some yeast. <gasps> Now we're going to pour some water and sugar. Ooh, and a little pinch of salt. Oh, wow. He put the dough in the oven and baked it. And when the bread was ready, he gave it to little red hair. Czerwona kurka niosła same świeżo upieczony chleb na podwórku. Little red hen carried the freshly baked bread. Ready? We're gonna help her carry it all the way back to the farmyard. Mała czerwona kurka zawołała do zwierząt. Czy ktoś mi pomoże zjeść ten świeżo upieczony chleb? Little red hen called out to the other animals, will anyone help me eat this tasty fresh bread? Ja, zawołał pies, jestem wolny. I will, said the dog, I'm not busy. Ja, zawołała gęż, jestem wolna. I will, said the goose, I'm not too busy. Ja, zawołał kot, jestem wolny. I will, said the cat, I'm not busy. Ach, muszę się zastanowić, powiedziała mała czerwona kurka. Oh, I'll have to think about that, said little red hen. Mała czerwona kurka zaprosiła młynarza i piekarza do podzielenia się smacznym chlebem podczas Tamte trzy zwierzęta tylko patrzyły się na to. The little red hen invited the miller and the baker to share her delicious bread, while the three other animals all looked on. Oh, the end. Oh, thank you for listening, everyone. And
today we have a special treat. Janina is going to tell us a little bit about the country Poland. Well, thank you guys for joining us. I wanted to tell you a little bit about Poland. Poland is a country located in Europe. Europe is one of the seven continents in the world. And we live in the United States. And if you wanted to go to Poland, you would have to take a plane or a cruise ship, for example, to cross over the Atlantic Ocean to go to Poland. So can you see where we are, boys and girls? We're in the United States, and Poland is here in Europe. Wow. <laughs> That's a long trip. would like to see uh, Poland. This is where it is located. It, like I mentioned, it is in Europe. The capital city of Poland is Warsaw. And the largest river in Poland is called the Vistula River. And it flows all throughout Poland. So Poland is celebrating its National Independence Day on November 11th. And this is the Polish flag. It is white and red. And this is the American flag. Now, one of the symbols uh, is the Polish eagle or the Polski Osho. And the Polish eagle represents freedom to many uh, Polish people and Polish people are very proud of when they see the Polish eagle. Now, this is the American bald eagle, and the American bald eagle also represents freedom to Americans. And many Americans are also very proud when they see the bald eagle. Well, thank you very much, Janina. Um, that was that was wonderful. So before we say goodbye, we have one more story, and Janina is going to teach us how to say good night in Polish. So if you'd like to say good night, the word for good night is dobranoc. 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 So are you ready to read a story called Dobranoc or good night? The story is written by Veronica Stepan. Ah, je vam. Ah, I'm yawning. Should we all yawn together? <gasps> oh, so tired. Just each spot. Time to sleep. Dobranoc. Good night. Mamushu i tatushu. Mommy and Daddy. Dobranoc, cureczko. Good night, daughter. Dobranoc, skarbie. Good night, precious. Słodkich snów, siostro. Sweet dreams, sister. Śpij mocno, braciszku. Sleep tight, little brother. Dobranoc, Pani Rybko. Good night, Miss Fish. Dobranoc, Pomiki. Good night, Hamsters. Dobranoc, Mishu. Good night, Teddy. Dobranoc, Gwiazdy i Księżyc. Good night, Stars. Good night. Good night. Dobranoc. So I thought before we say goodbye, we could sing our good night song. Are we ready, everyone? Oh, we're going to stretch and wave and we're going to say good night. And how do you say good night in Polish again? Dobranoc. Dobranoc. Oh, nice, everyone. Are we ready? Here we go. We wave Dobranoc like this. We wave the brownies like that. 
We wave to Brahmins to all our friends. We wave to Brahmins to Brahmins. Oh, yay. Thank you for Thank joining you for us, everyone. Guys.